this is Rick Casells from ExercisesForInjuries.com. I'm down here in Las Vegas again at a you know fitness business meeting, fitness mastermind meeting, and uh, I ran into Mike Whitfield again. And what he's going to chat about is kind of a, an issue that he had when it came to running his boot camp. So if you're a boot camp owner, you know, watch the video. He's got some uh, great information to help you with your boot camp. Thanks a lot, Rick. Um, as Rick said, I was running boot camps and I was trying to figure out a way to kind of beat boot camp boredom. And the thing that I was running into was I was using, of course, as you know, finishers. I'm the finishers guy. I was using those with my one-on-one clients, but I wasn't translating that to boot camps. And so I had to figure out a way to use finishers with my boot camps because that's the, that was the big hook for me because I didn't do any direct uh, marketing. I didn't do any uh, postcards or anything like that. I solely relied on referrals for, my, for generating uh, revenue and business. So what I did is I took the finishers that I was using with my one-on-one -on -one clients and figured out how to what I call boot camp okay, so them and basically make them uh, to where they would be tweaked and used in boot camp settings. So that's, what I, that's how boot camp finishers was born. Now a good way of doing that is uh, there's the density method which my campers absolutely loved. And this is when you set a certain amount of time, usually pretty short because it is a finisher, in the neighborhood of three to five minutes. So you have that set time, and then you have either a surface superset or a circuit of three exercises. And what I like to do is just, you know, really just play with the set and rep schemes because that really brings a new dynamic to the workout. It gets campers addicting to, addicted to working out, and that's what it's all about because that, of course, brings them back. So you have a circuit that you have to do in three to five minutes, and I like to do like short, or not short, but less reps. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll say kettlebell swings for say five reps and you drop down into a burpee for say three reps, and then you uh, do push-ups for, for say uh, five reps, something like that. What you do is you go through that circuit as many times as possible in three to five minutes. Now what's cool about that is all campers can kind of go at their own pace because the rest periods really is up to them. And so of course they, you know, they just take a break when they need to and they hop right back in. So that's how I've used boot camp finishers with my boot camps. And that's why I actually had to move from, I had a small suite next to the gym that I was training at, and I moved all the way up to the high school up the street, and I had 20 campers at 6 o'clock in the morning during the summer, and the, the kicker was most of those were teachers. So that was really cool to see how these finishers really exploded my business, because like I said, I solely relied on, uh, on referrals for bringing those campers in. So that's kind of a, a synopsis, if you will, of uh, how Boot Camp Finishers was born. Awesome. So thank you very much. Mike, sure. where can people get more information on you? Uh, you can go to workoutfinishers.com slash bootcampfinishers, and that's where you'll get the, uh, uh, get the bootcamp finishers done for you uh, right there in there. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. Sure thing.